<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen! You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play 13 Sentinels. Last time we left off, uh, we were going through Amaguchi's story. And we kind of see, like, how in the future, like, or what his dreams, apparently, he's a scientist named Tatsuya Ida, and he's, like, developing these androids. Uh, one was of Tomi, because I guess he, like, really cared for her, and she died, and he's like, he feels bad. But then he also transferred, like, the mind of 426, who was apparently Jiro Izumi, and they all had a thing going on, and the evil, but then somehow, some way, I, I guess instead of deleting him, he transferred the accidentally the mind to Tomi's android body, and it's like what? So that that's what um, that's what it says up there. To restore Tomi to her original body, Tetsuya attempted to extract information from four two six, but four two six tricked him and took over Kisaragi instead. Cool. There is still a little bit more to go with Amaguchi's story, apparently, so let's see what we can do. Man, I'm real. Now, it has been a teeny bit since I played. I my... <sighs> well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. In my dream, the way Miyuki and Abba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They already happened. It's all in the past. My, the way she describes it, these aren't just dreams and videos Karabe-kun and I see. They're actual events that happened in the past. The past of Tetsuya Ida. Man, she... Now, I am a little bit confused about that saying, like, oh, no, it already happened. I'm like, really? It did? Like, I don't understand how that's coming along, but regardless. So we did these three paths. What do we do here? I don't know. I see to See, he sees Tomi in there. Hmm? Oh. I see Yuki-chan. That's right. He has a thing for Yuki. Maybe Yuki-chan's in the cafeteria. Have I already said that I feel like everybody in this game has a weird obsession to everybody else? I should get going. Whoa. Yuki-chan! Amiguchi. I'm surprised she didn't get mad right off the bat for us calling her Yuki-chan. But apparently that is what we need to do to get to this new path, but... Uh, okay. I was just thinking about you, and now, here you are. Destiny sure wants us to be together. What the hell are you talking about? So, Yuki-chan. Didn't I tell you not to call me that? You like Hay C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Nachan used to drink it, that's all. Gotta lay off the smokes anyway. So, I need something else to focus on. And let's not forget that apparently Yuki is somehow Natsuno's or but Natsumi? I forgot her name already. Apparently her mother. How about a date? No. Come on, one date. <sighs> what he needs to learn is that's creepy, dude. If a woman says no. Just call it, man. You know, I came by bike today. Got it hidden away nearby. We could go somewhere right now. No. How about the beach? I know a place with a great view. I said no. What, you don't have any place you want to go? A place from back in the day, somewhere with good memories. <clears throat> Got a place on your mind? 
Or is there a reason you can't go back? Of course not. I just got to thinking. It reminded me of my grandma on my mom's side. I haven't seen her since my parents divorced. You don't say. <sighs> you set me up. Well, let's go. What? Let's go see your grandma. What are you, nuts? She's not even in the city. Her place is in Hamanashi, a whole prefecture over. Uh, That's what I thought, dumbass. It's too far. No, let's do this. I want to go too. That's just about a hundred kilometers one way. Huh? Come on. Hey! This is the perfect chance to check something. After what I heard from the TV last night, I've got to find out. Shukun, let me tell you where you are. What do you mean? This is my house. That's not what I meant. Think bigger. I'm talking about everything you know. Hmm? Everything in this city. Everything you've lived. It's an isolated enclosure. Just 30 kilometers in diameter. An enclosure? Hmm. But we still get news from all over the world. You're telling me we're closed off? No, that's too much. I don't buy it. That's a reasonable reaction. So... I think you should go take a look yourself. I'm going to unlock a part of the Suwabuki Bypass. You should now be able to see the truth. <sighs> go to the edge of the world. To the outer walls of the city itself. <sighs> Whoa! What the hell? Say something? You ever think anything through on the Gucci? Hey, I can get us back within two hours. Home before sundown, easy. Don't worry about it. How about you tell me a little bit about your grandma? <sighs> She's out in the boondocks. Nothing but rice patties. Yeah? Used to go to her place every summer. Walking between the fields in the mornings to do radio gymnastics with everyone. No kidding! I did the same thing in the countryside when I was a kid. In the afternoons, Grandma would give us some watermelon. We'd swim in the river and catch fish with our bare hands. Then we'd go catch cicadas off the old Zelkova tree, up on the hill behind the house. That's weird. What? My Grandpa had a Zelkova on the hill behind his house, too. We'd go catch cicadas off it. Oh, yeah? And the river, the watermelon. It sounds exactly like what I remember. Not that weird. Doesn't everyone remember the same stuff from vacations in the country? No, but that's exactly what is weird here. Well, we're almost 15 kilometers from the middle of the city. This tunnel should end around the prefecture line, so... What the hell is this place? What's going on? So you're telling me that we've been basically playing the Truman Show the entire time. <laughs> I swear, this game keeps throwing me for more and more loops, and I, I still don't understand everything that's happening here. Like, huh? This is what she was talking about. This sure doesn't look like a construction site. Just 
goes on forever, above and below. I can't even see the end. Yo, uh, where the hell are we? The outer walls. But what the hell is it? How do we get through? I don't know if there is a way through. What if all our memories from outside town are fake? What if everyone's been convinced that an outside even exists? No way. I can't believe it either. How could I? It mean this 30 kilometer enclosure, this isolated city, is the only world we've ever known. But what about everyone else in the city? Outside of, like, the special, you know, us, you know? Are they? Hi, ah, man, I don't know, guys. I have no idea what the hell's going on. Um, Because honestly, I mean, like, here we are. We're on the on the bypass, and you see other cars and whatever. So is it all just automated? It's all fake? I don't know anymore. Oh, wow, but his story even continues even further. Interesting. Let's see what happens. Cool. I really, wa I really was expecting a, uh, a stopping point right there, but... So me and Karabe-kun, probably Fuyusaka too, the dreams we're seeing are actual events from the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated? <sighs> And how do you know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki Inaba talking through my TV. Who the heck do I even talk to about this? If I just tell the truth, they'll throw me in a loony bin. You don't talk to anybody about this because nobody's going to believe you. But that'll probably drive you insane too, so... Okay, uh, well, we got a few things we can talk about. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. Back in my... In my... Oh, she was right. We found that weird barrier on the edge of town. <sighs> Maybe I should listen to her more carefully. I just wanted a nice first date with Yuki-chan. So much for that. Now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. <sighs> Used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up. Something tells me that's not really gonna work here. Don't you guys love it when you're trying to go on a date and then you end up in a huge conspiracy? Ugh. Like, every Friday, I just, I just hate, I hate that, you know? Tomi Kisaragi isn't here. Well, probably for the best, actually. Bumping into her now would be super awkward. Kurabe-kun. Amikuchi-kun. Hey, you going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. Sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. Huh? Oh, nothing. See ya. Hurabe kun Seems like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out too? Hmm. Only one. Oh, no, I can't even talk. Only one way to find out. Let's see if we can follow him. Actually, never mind. Yuki chan? Nope, not here. Well, she is occupied. Detention is a cruel mistress. How do we even know she had detention? Or are we just assuming? Uh, detention. Frankly, I can't even remember. I, I, and this is not me bragging. You know, I'm just stating the truth here. I don't believe I ever received detention. Uh, 
I should have in at least one occasion, because I, I did get into a fight when I was like in fourth or fifth grade. You know, stupid kid stuff, right? But I think all I did was get like, um, side, what they call silent lunch, where it's like you had to sit alone during lunchtime and like don't don't have recess. Uh, and then I remember one of my teachers in high school, she purposely made us late to our next class. And then our other, our other teacher for the next class gave us all detention for being late. But he then find out what our other teacher did, and then he rescinded all the uh, detentions. So, but those are the only two instances I remember, like, about to be punished, but didn't happen. So, eh. Maybe I need some fresh air. Fresh air is always nice, especially like on a cool day, like a 70 something degrees, nice breeze. Love it. Maybe. Maybe I should just go public, lay everything out in the open. I guess I could record Miyuki and Aba talking to me, send that tape out to TV stations. But you know that's not gonna work. You know, like, I feel that like they would be self aware. That you're trying to do that, trying to capture something, and they're not going to let you do so. This whole thing, like, universal control, or whoever the big bad people are in this game. Oh, okay. Hello, Ninji. What's got you so spaced out? Uh, Amiguchi. Just got shit on my mind. What about you? You look like hell. Something weighing you down? Yeah. You could say that. Hey, uh, remember when I skipped school for a few days? What about it? Yeah, uh, I actually spent those days stranded in another time. Stuck in the future. Huh. Well, me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. Yeah, that's about what I figured. So... What's going on with you? Huh? Oh. You know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. Yeah, that's about what I figured. <clears throat> oh, I totally forgot. What's up? Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd find me up here. This shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. Isn't this where she shot me and then the sentinel appeared and then all that happened? We're, we're gonna do this again, huh? Maybe we're gonna find out where the hell it took us. Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Really, I, I... I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I... Point looks to be Yai Machi. Close to Sakura High School. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. Notify all ministries and agencies, and the U.S. military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa-era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. And call in Ryoko Shinonome. Still ascending. What's it trying to do? That sentinel. 
I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. Who is that? Yuki-chan, I knew it. It's like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. Good timing, too. Kinda hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Is that thing yours? Sentinel number 20, transmitting. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I never have expected you. Shu Amiguchi. Four eyes. We're agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us, and I can guarantee your safety. If not, you will be institutionalized. You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to. Especially from guys like you. Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan, you know this guy? <sighs> she is a member of our organization. What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots like you. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. No way! Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi, I... Oh. I suggest you cooperate, Shu Amiguchi. For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. Okay, so I think a lot more things are becoming a little more clearer to me. Uh, allow me to rant just for a little bit. This whole idea that uh, Inaba, the pop singer, says like, oh, well, the dreams that we had, it's all stuff from the past. Uh, so I think that is true now because this whole idea of the enclosure, we fly up and we're in out we're in space but there's also different districts different sectors i have a feeling that we really are not in 1985 it's only simulating 1985 these are the space colonies that they were talking about in 2188 and beyond 
to kind of restart humanity in a sense. And that's what these enclosures are. They're just the space colonies. So I think that makes a lot more sense if I put it like that. I could be totally off the damn, uh, like the actual truth here, but I feel like that's what it is, in my opinion. And just like that, we are now stuck in, <laughs> uh, with his stuff now, 85%. But yeah, we're not going to be able to play his stuff again until we completely finish the second area in the destruction stuff. So that's uh, fine with me. But now, this should be fun. All right. Go ahead and we'll play as Yuki now for a little bit. Uh, last time we left off with her, while she was searching the old school building, she found Shinonome watching some footage. A tearful Shinonome asked Taki, uh, Takamiya to hide the projector before losing her memories. Yeah, this is the whole thing about um, where like the future Shinonome apparently caused the whole looping con thing to begin and to annihilate humans and all that because, oh, Ida lied to her. Oh, she loved him, but he didn't love her back. All right. Yeah. So. Okay, this should be, uh, it should be fun. So, what differences can I do here? So, from the gate, I can go... Either way. But this part was a flashback, so we can avoid the flashback. So these two we can try doing. This is where uh, Tamau is going to come up. She she says that she's Aiba or something. Can't go wrong with Apple Juice. Ryoko Shinonome. Seems like she's completely forgotten. But she's the one who told me to hide that box in the first place. There you are. Guess I'll grab my bag. Oh, I'll go with you. Okay, so far, so good. Now, how the hell do I get to here or here? As long as I don't do a flashback, I should be fine. She walks fast. Ah, oh, shit. Wajima. Yo. Out of my way, punk. <laughs> you trying to give me orders now? You better get out of my face. I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> you really have crap timing, Aiba. Uh, um... Takamiya-san? Are these people... friends of yours? That's right. And if you're friends with her, that means you have to be friends with me, too. Hey! You lay a finger on her, and I'll break all ten of yours. Oh, uh, you think you can threaten me? Bastard. Ha! Does that answer your question? Heavy your way. I owe you a lesson from before. Stay back, Aiba. Maybe this time it'll stick. All right, break it up. School called the cops on me. What the hell, school? Why, why, why you gotta be a snitch? <laughs> uh, I swear, Wajima, I just don't know why he even bothers picking a fight. He gets his ass whooped every single time, whether it's from Ogata, whether it's from Yuki here. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Like... I was I was hoping Iwa would step in and show her android strength, but eh, it's all good. Hey, buddy. 
Can I go home now? <sighs> no. Damn it. Four eyes isn't gonna shut up about this. Oh, it's gonna be a real drag if I get suspended from school. Quit pacing. Just stay still and stay quiet. Hey. Just wondering where the ladies' room is. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll just stand here with my mouth shut. You know, if he doesn't want us pacing, then I would have imagined they would have uh, handcuffed her or something. I'll take over from here. Yes, sir. Oni. Glad to see you haven't changed, Takamiya. So, what happened to Wajima's lackeys? Most of them got away. The two we caught only have minor injuries. I've been worried about you. They took you away and... I didn't even know you were transferred. What happened? Are you involved with the SIU? Tell me what you know. Sorry, old man. Can't talk about it. <sighs> Half a year ago, there was an incident involving the transport of heavy machinery. It was reported as an accident, and in the middle of all of it was a young lady, Ryoko Shinonome. I took her into custody. Shinonome? But just like with you, those men from the SIU took her away by force. Her statement was a curious one, though. She claimed both her and her weapon came from the future to fight against Kaiju. So what? You believed that crap? There was another heavy machinery accident just recently. I saw it there, just before they covered it up in a tarp. And let me tell you, that thing was no ordinary piece of construction equipment. Something is going on in this town, and I have to find out. You'll tell me what you know, won't you? <sighs> You'll tell me what you know, won't you? <sighs> See, I'm afraid that something's gonna happen to him if he gets too close to the truth. He seems like a really cool guy, you know, like he, he genuinely wants to help. But I'm afraid that, well, isn't he part of the, the enclosure as well? So like, what about people? Yeah, like him or anyone else? Like, I, I don't know. Shinonome and her weapon came from the future, huh? I remember in Nachan's notebook, she wrote about time travel and a robot that fights. Onishi the Ogre may just be another old fart, but he's an old fart I think I can trust. Maybe I should talk to him and have him help me too. What? You know, I just realized too that I could be completely wrong here, and please don't verify if I'm right or wrong, but stating a theory of mine. What if, going back to the whole thing about, like, we're actually in these enclosures in space in the future, maybe time travel does not exist, and in actuality, teleportation exists. We're not shifting time. We're simply moving to different sectors, different districts. Is that what's happening? I don't know. Nachan. <laughs> Natsunomi Nami has been missing since last week. Are the police even looking for her? Natsuno Minami. Huh. The name doesn't sound familiar. She's a first year at Sakura High, and the SIU are looking for her. You'll let me know if you find anything? I'll keep my eyes open.
So, how much do you already know about the SIU? It seems there's an understanding among the higher-ups. But it's still a mystery for us underlings. As far as I know, they're doing extensive research on Shikishima Industries. I figured as much. Now, I don't know how much of this is true. But, according to Four Eyes, Shikishima is making nuclear weapons. And there are miners involved. They told me to watch him, which is why they transferred me. Miners? Ryoko Shinonome is at Sakura High, too. Take a look at this. It's a request to limit traffic while transporting heavy machinery. The thing Shinonome claimed to have arrived in is on its way to Shikishima's new shipbuilding dock as we speak. If I can get there, maybe I can finally figure it out. What the machine is, and what happened to Nachan. After hearing what Onishi the Ogre had to say, I had no choice but to get on this train. Shikishima's shipbuilding dock. No idea what shit I'm gonna find there. But the anticipation is twisting my stomach into knots. The shipbuilding dock the robot was moved to. It's on a landfill near the port. A deserted area with nothing but storage. I'll take this train to the last stop, and then wait near the facility. I'll have to wait until dark to sneak in. Oh, and there's Ogata for the hell of it. Okay, let's catch up. Ogata? Hmm? Takamiya. What are you doing here? Obvious, ain't it? I'm going home. But I thought... Don't you live near Nachan's house? Yeah, when we were in elementary school. I live with my grandpa now. Where are you going? Oh, well, uh... To see the ocean? You alright? So where's your minion? Decided not to follow you around today? You mean Erica Aiba? Aiba? You're in class D, right? She's in your class, isn't she? Huh? That's not Aiba. Aiba's been absent from school for a while now. <sighs> the next stop is Akebi. Akebi. Oh. Gotta switch trains at the next stop. I'm gonna take off. See ya. Not Aiba? Then... Who the hell is she? Shit. Who can I even believe anymore? I guess just myself now. Trust nothing I don't see with my own eyes. And the first thing I'm gonna see... The weapon at Shikishima. <laughs> Security sure is crap here. Sneaking in was almost too easy. Though, when it's this damn dark, it's hard to see much of anything. You are gonna jinx yourself so hard, Yuki. But I do find it funny that she was able to sneak in. When something like this exists, you think you're not gonna have, like, armed guards 24-7, rotating shifts, nothing like that? Ninji Ogata, Class 1D, has made the claim that Erika Aiba is not who she says she is. If that's true, then who's the person that's been following me this whole time? And what does she want with me? Huh? Where's that light coming from? Wait a minute. It's my skin that's lighting up? Well, that explains who's there? it. Wait. I know that voice. Ryoko Shinonome. What are you doing here? I should be the one asking you that. 
Hey, you... Your leg is glowing. What's going on? Our bodies are responding. We are pilots. Pilots? <laughs> we are being called by the 14th Sentinel. Son of a... What the hell is that? Is this the thing that was being moved through the streets? This is a weapon. We will need it for the upcoming battle. And you are one of the people who can pilot it. Yuki Takamiya. You. I remember you from the list. You're Renya Goto. What do you mean, one of? This is my Sentinel. Sentinel? No way. Did you sell me out? I don't know what that means. I'm the only one who understands number 14. I will not let you have it. So this is the Sentinel? This is what Nachan was looking for? A robot that can fight aliens? Really? Aliens? Was she planning on fighting some little green spacemen? Well, then what are you trying to do? Save the world from the kaiju. Oh. Where do you think you're going? <sighs> We're not done talking. So this was an ambush? You could say that. So, this is the weapon Shikishima made? No. Shikishima did not make this. We did. Who the hell are you guys? From our perspective, this world is nothing but the past. You mean, time travel? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Very. The Sentinels themselves are weapons from the future. Stay back. The hell? Is that real? You want to find out? Get out of my way. Or am I going to have to beat the crap out of both of you? There will be none of that. After all, you too have a part in this. I don't have jack squat to do with this. Your glowing skin suggests otherwise. I don't know what you did to me. But I've had enough. What did you find? New code has been added several times. How many times did he come into contact with her? They must be close. You're... from the nurse's office. I'd like to research you a bit more. Yuki Takamiya. What are you... <clears throat> Well, that's one way to finish the story, isn't it? <laughs> Not only is Takayama's story 50%, more than 50% cleared, but we also unlocked more of it. Oh my god, like, this game, like, I, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I'm just enjoying the living hell out of it. I, I still have some time here, so, let's see here. So, in order to unlock this, we need to watch... Matsuno's Exterminator event, that's the whole thing with the Terminator things, or, yeah, whatever. Cool. Okay. So, but where's it gonna make us start at, though? Because this all happened because I... Oh, wait a minute, this is interesting. What is this? A fruitless effort. I guess, did I even do this? I don't remember. Like, I'm... These two were un were questioned. Boy, I have question marks. I got into fight Wajima, and then this all this happened. I didn't do this, but I guess it didn't matter because it's like ah, well, it nothing happens. Huh. So maybe if I just waited for Iba or excuse me, uh, Tom uh, Tamau, uh, we just would have ended it early, I guess. 
Huh? Yeah, whatever. Let's see where it's gonna take us now. I was let go? They're probably still watching me. Just waiting to use me. <sighs> whatever Goto and them are trying to do, it's beyond me. Nachan was hiding a box in the locker room. Come to think of it, that projector I hid looks a lot like a box, too. Could it be the same one? Not. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me to get to the organization behind the scenes. That thing I hid. I need to take a closer look. But I can't let Aiba know about the SIU. I'll have to go alone. There you are! So this branches off quite a bit here. Um, looks like we can go either way. Wait, wait a minute. The box and the old school building are for both of these, interestingly enough. Are we going to uh, confront Aiba about who she really is? You're in the same class as Ogata, aren't you? Yes. But I doubt he remembers me. I don't leave much of an impression. <sighs> are you upset with me? Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Sorry. I just remembered I had something to do. We're done investigating for the day. Aww. Ugh, it smells like mold in here. So what's stopping her from actually just following us regardless? I wouldn't be surprised if she does show up anyway. I saw some... It's in here. There it is. It's somehow able to project things. How did Ryoko Shinonome make this thing work? Hmm, maybe there's a power switch somewhere. Nope, can't find one. I guess you could call this a box. So, this is what Nachan was hiding? If only I could show this to that track girl. Huh. Yuki Takamiya. Aha. Uh -huh. Good work, Takamiya. You managed to recover it from him. There's valuable confidential information in there. Confidential? Yes, in that data unit. You had orders to look for it too? Uh, actually... Anyway, good job. What guy were you talking about? You haven't heard. I came in here because I thought I saw him. Eiseki Gahara. He's a vicious criminal that will stop at nothing to get his hands on this information. I don't think I'm that bad. <sighs> What's on the ground there? Oh! I was like, is that like a toupee or something? Or well, that's a gun. Uh, he's uh, he's breathing. He's fine. Oh, it's you. Hey, old guy. I didn't kill him. He's just unconscious. Get away from my box! Right. Do you even know what this is? 
This guy was saying it's confidential, so... Activate AI. <laughs> Miura. Do you know who I am? You got your memory back. Where am I? Sector 4. The old building at Sakura High School. Then we have a problem. Natsuno got left behind. Did you say Natsuno? Are you talking about Natsuno Minami? Does that mean you know? You know where Nachan is? Who are you? I'm Yuki Takamiya. But that doesn't matter. Just tell me where she is. I do mean Natsuno Minami. According to my last memory, she is currently marooned in Sector 3. Sector 3? You'll understand once we get there. Let's go, Miura. I know a shortcut. Are you coming with us? You bet your ass I am. Tokisaka Shrine. I knew this place was important. Nachan came here too. Are you saying this is Sector 3? What's it doing? Activate gate. The hell? Don't move. Executing the shift. Nachan. Where else could she have gone? I can't believe the stuff about time travel was real, too. How long has Nachan been stranded here for? Canned food isn't hard to find if you look for it. As long as she didn't do anything reckless, she should still be alive. I hope she hasn't gone someplace dangerous. So, what happened to this place? It was attacked by the Daimos. The Daimos? The swarm of machines that look like monsters. No one is left in the wake of their attacks. And their next target is your town. <sighs> what? The only chance we have of surviving is to fight back with the Sentinels. Sentinels? We need you for this, too, Takamiya. You're saying I have to get in one of those things? So you've seen one? In Shikishima's facility. They were calling it Number 14. That's Ryoko-san's Sentinel. <laughs> He's back. Right on time. So? What'd you find? I scanned for heat sources from the air. I detected no signs within a five kilometer range. We may have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Shut your damn mouth! If she is still alive, she's either deep inside a building, or she's moved farther away. I will widen my scan range. Not John. I'm still wondering if my time travel theory or simply shifting to a different area is even correct. I don't know. I I, I was kind of hoping like the whole time travel thing was incorrect, but maybe it is. I don't know. This game is just it's weird but awesome. I mean, definitely a sleeper hit in my opinion. Now, so that's what happened when we went up there. So what is the difference between 
That and that. Or maybe we go to the old school building with Aiba? I don't know. But regardless, um, we are almost at an hour, and I actually need to go cook dinner. So, next time we will continue with Yuki's story. And after that, I think we'll go into Shinonome's. After that, who is, who is left still? Oh, okay, we can go back into Fuyasaka. And that might be it after we do Yuki and Shinonome. Juro, I don't, I just don't know about him. Like, I feel like nothing is happening with his stuff yet, so... I don't know. Either way. Uh, yeah, next time we'll just play as Yuki and Shinonome and take things from there. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for Let's Play 13 Sentinels. Love you all so much, and don't forget to spread that love around. Have a great day.